What's up, guys? It's Skill Up here. I really hope you've had a fantastic week. Thank you very much for joining me for the weekly vendor reset video. Hopefully, the vendors have some nice swag for us this week. This video is, of course, sponsored by ViewSonic. They provided me with an awesome 1440p monitor so I can upload in that quality for you guys. Information in the description below on that one. And with that, let's get stuck into this week's weekly vendor reset. Oh, I nearly forgot. There are timestamps in the description below as well, so you can skip back and forward. And if you need to come back to the video later in the week, you'll be able to jump straight back to where you need. And with that, let's get underway. At the gear vendor this week, you're going to find a prototype performance mod that's rolled for sticky bomb damage. It's 3.5% where the maximum roll is 4%. At the dark zone gear vendor, there's a tyrant suppressor here, but the rolls are definitely on the low side. It's got crit hit damage and critical hit chance, which is really good. And it's a small type variant, so it fits on your smaller weapons and your sidearms. However, as I said, the rolls aren't fantastic. At the advanced weaponry vendor, there's a classic M1A here. It's rolled with prepared, which is perfect for the marksman rifle category. It's got competent on it, which is difficult if you haven't got 3,800 electronics. So you'll probably roll this one away. And Ferocious in that third slot is really nice because it typically has an electronics requirement that's tricky to hit, but it's free in that third slot. This is a really nice PVE focused weapon. Obviously you roll away this competent and you're left with something fairly decent. Just be aware the classic variants don't have the under barrel mod slot. So be aware that you do trade away a bit of weapon stability. And those of you looking for a bit more optimal range, particularly on an SMG, if you're running the defense gear set, there is a vertical grip here that's rolled with 44% optimal range. And there's also a sight here that's rolled 21% optimal range, but I probably wouldn't recommend using optimal range in your sight slot. You'd be far better putting that into a damage focus stat. Downstairs at the terminal, the special equipment vendor, there's a fairly well rolled PP19 here. It's got brutal in that top slot. It's got destructive and it's got hurried. You probably don't need hurried if you're using this thing for PVP, you'd roll that away. But this is a really excellent talent for PVE throughput. So I would definitely keep it on the weapon. Those of you chasing a well-rolled double-barreled sword off shotgun to finish off your targets in PVP, you're in luck. We've got one here with destructive, responsive, and fierce. Great combination of weapon talents. There's a reckless chest here if you're at all interested. The roll is on the low side in terms of firearms, but it does have ammo capacity in the bottom slot, which is nice. Just change one of these to armor, probably the health on kill if you're in uh, PVE or the protection from elites if you're in PVP. And uh, it's an okay chest to be running with. This Lone Star chest has a great roll of 1238 stamina. The maximum you can get is 1272. So that's quite nice. Increased kill XP is good but not great you don't really need the bonus ammo in this uh chest slot though given if you know if you're running lone star you're probably going to have enough ammo as it is just change one of these to uh, armor and you are set this firecrest micro shuttle backpack is also excellent 1235 firearms out of a possible 1270 it's rolled base armor you could change the minor attribute to bonus ammo and you are set and yes there is an alpha bridge rucksack here it's rolled base electronics which is disappointing it's rolled skill power which is disappointing and it's got disrupt resistance. So unfortunately, it looks like this one is a bit of a fizzer. These defense knee pads are okay. The roll and the stamina is on the low side. It hasn't rolled with base armor, but it does have the enemy armor damage in that bottom minor attribute slot. All you need to do is change this one to uh, armor and you've got yourself an okay pair of knee pads, but nothing spectacular. There's a striker's holster that's rolled 1200 in both stamina and electronics. Doesn't roll armor though, so you'll need to roll that away and you're left with a fairly low firearms roll. And similarly, this reclaimer holster has rolled fairly well in both firearms and stamina, but a bit low on the electronic side, you will need to roll this to armor. And finally, there's a prototype performance mod here that's rolled pulse critical hit chance 2%, which is actually the max roll. You've most likely collected a number of these already, but if you haven't, then there you go. I can hear your collective groaning already. The special blueprints vendor this week is selling an M870 Express, which really no one wants, and a classic RPK-74, which is the same weapon archetype as the Pecan, which you can buy from a vendor. However, the Pecan rolls with higher base damage than anything you can craft, making it you know, the better option, generally speaking. So unfortunately, the blueprints this week are very disappointing. Stamina knee pads, blueprint, firearms, gloves, quick release magazine, which I wouldn't recommend. You want to go with extended there. Vertical grip foliage green has optimal range on it, which is quite nice, quite handy. A stamina gear mod blueprint. There's going to be either firearms or electronics there as well. I'm not sure which one. 
And then after that, we get to all the 229 stuff. At Dante's Run Safe House, there's a prototype performance mod here that's rolled for uh, support station healing speed. It's 4.5% out of a maximum of 5% roll. At the Kerman's Station Safe House, there's a uh, vector here. It's the Tactical Vector 45 ACP. So it does have the smaller mag. The other um, vector variants have 25 bullets. However, the talents are pretty good. It's got responsive, it's got ferocious in that third slot, which is lovely. And uh, determined there, you'd be able to roll that one away to get something else. You're left with a fairly decent uh, vector, fairly decent SMG, but nothing spectacular. At the Madison's Stand Safe House, there's a really, really nice operator pack here. It's got 1258 uh, firearms out of a possible 1270, so top tier roll. Specialize, which is an excellent talent. It's got critical hit damage here, which you would change to armor and it's rolled with base ammo capacity which is what you'd want on your backpack so this is a really beautifully rolled specialized backpack grab it if you can oh and at the same place there's also a prototype performance mod that's rolled for ballistic shield damage resilience 4.5 percent where the maximum is five percent at the east 53rd street dz checkpoint there is a vigorous chest here which uh, grants overheals to all healing skills it's rolled with base firearms, though the roll is on the low side. It's got base armor, which is nice, and increased kill XP. It's not a beautifully rolled uh, chess piece, but it would certainly do the job. There's also a support station duration mod here, 6.5%, where the maximum is 7.5%. And to round it off, there's a tyrant suppressor here that's rolled crit hit chance, headshot damage, critical hit damage. Each of these rolls isn't quite maxed out, but it's a good combination. At the East 46th Street DZ checkpoint, there is a sturdy holster here. Sturdy increases your arm by 15%, when you stay in cover for more than four seconds. And uh, it's obviously pretty useless in PvP because you don't really use cover, but in PvE, it's really nice because it means you can pop out and trade damage with your enemies more regularly. So it's not bad. There's uh, 1200 on stamina and electronics, and it's got a low roll on firearms. It's rolled with base armor though. So all you need to do is re-roll the firearms and it's not too bad at all. At the East 42nd DZ checkpoint, there's a, a prototype performance mod pulse duration, 4.5% where the max roll is 5%. At the East 31st Street DZ checkpoint, you're gonna find a pair of operator pads with 1241 stamina out of a max of 1270, so great roll there. It's accomplished, which means that uh, rewards from accolades are tripled, really good for farming focused builds. Protection from elites, change that to armor, and you've got enemy armor damage in that bottom slot. Boom, you are done. There's also a prototype performance mod here with 4% turret damage, which is actually the max roll on this item as well. At the West 31st Street DZ checkpoint, we've got a classic AK-47 with uh, responsive, destructive, and vicious. Great combination of talents there. Uh, the AK-47 has the highest per bullet damage of any automatic weapon, except for the burst fire variants, like the classic foul, for example. It's got 90% enemy armor damage, which is a bit on the low side, and you yeah, I know most people are going to prefer to use an LVOAC or a FAMAS and, you know, that combo in Alpha Bridge. But if you're looking to use something different to that, then this is certainly a good option with a good combination of weapon talents. There's also a prototype performance mod here that's rolled 7% support station duration out of a max roll of 7.5%. At the West 39th Street DZ checkpoint, some great swag here. We've got a pair of gunslinger gloves that's rolled 1239 firearms out of 1270. So that's a good start. It's savage, which is great. And it's a nice combination of uh, major attributes, SMG damage, crit hit chance, damage to elites. So uh, yeah, if this is an SMG focused uh, build that you've got going, then that already works for you. You may just want to change this damage to elites for say critical hit damage if you're using them in PVP. If however, you're using them in PVE, then that works beautifully. Or at the same time, if you want to change the SMG's damage to assault rifle or whatever else, then, uh, then you're going to be stuck with these two making these uh, really suited to PVE at that point because of that damage to elite stat. Either way, great gloves, great roll. And there's also a really nice prototype electronics mod here. It's rolled 250 in the base stat out of a max of 267, so nice roll there. And it's also rolled 268 armor out of a max of 281. So it's a very, very strong roll across both of these stats. At the West 
22nd Street DZ checkpoint. There's a uh, prototype electronics mod here, 253 electronics out of a max of 267 and 3,205 skill power out of a max of 3,335, which is pretty good. It's okay. So if you're looking to go really deep into skill power, then uh, this is the sort of mod you'd be looking for. At the West 46th Street DZ checkpoint, we've got ourselves an MG5 here, which is one of the belt fed LMG variants. 12% damage out of cover is definitely on the low side. Commanding, you would roll that away. Brutal is lovely and uh, competent in that third slot is just brilliant. So uh, yeah, really nice combination of talents in terms of, you know, that competent being in the third slot. Brutal's great, roll that away. And yeah, even though the roll on the damage out of cover is bad, the rest of the weapon it still holds up. At the DZ6 vendor this week, there's a uh, Firecrest acquisition vest. It's rolled low stamina, 1138 out of uh, 1270 max. Protection from elites, uh, base armor, which is good, and minor attribute increased kill XP, which you'd probably change to bonus ammo. It's not fantastic, but hey, it will do the job. There's a reclaimer support pack, which is rolled with base electronics. All you need to do is change this to armor and it becomes quite usable. There's a striker's holster here, which is rolled with base armor and it's got uh, 1200 electronics, which means you can reroll firearms or stamina to something better. And finally, there's a pair of predators, mark gloves 1257 in the uh, firearms out of a max of 1270 so great roll health on kill shotgun damage which you change to assault rifle damage and critical hit chance really nice pair of gloves at the dz3 vendor this week there are a few weapons worth talking about the police t821 has rolled with brutal unforgiving and predatory which is a fairly nice combination particularly for pvp with this unforgiving talent there's a black market AK-74 with deadly self-preserved and with predatory, which is a fairly nice combination of sustain-based talents with uh, predatory and self-preserved. Self-preserved is obviously reliant upon how much crit damage you do, so the fact that you get deadly there is a nice help. There's a Super 90 here with Brutal, Determined and Capable, wouldn't get that one. Military Scar H, Ferocious, Deadly and Determined, wouldn't get that one. And finally, this classic RPK-74 with Self-Preserved, Fierce and Deadly is okay, not great. Uh, you'd certainly need to roll away this Fierce because of the electronics requirement. Deadly is not a particularly exciting talent these days because it has been nerfed significantly and uh, just it's not what it once was and uh, Self-Preserved, we've already talked about that before. Anyway, those are the weapons for the week. And guys, that that's it. That's the weekly vendor reset for the week. I really hope there was at least one or two items in there that were an upgrade for you. If you like this video, do drop it a like and be sure to subscribe. I do these videos every single week, so uh, you can always expect this sort of content from me. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell if you like, so you're notified exactly when these videos come out. And uh, this way, you can look forward to my the final part in my PvP series. Part 5, looking at the combat within the division and how it can be improved in the upcoming 1.6 patch which I'm very much looking forward to and uh, also there's something else that's just leaked this week a special survey uh, covering potential changes to survival I'm currently working on a video for that as well so you can also expect that soon anyway guys thank you very much for watching take good care and I'll see you next time bye bye